day one zombie apocalypse. I am in a house. After the big chemical explosion. It's silent. Everyone I love, everyone I cared about is dead. Zombies are everywhere. Well, it was a silent and good day after school and came home. A big explosion happened. And I, I was outside and I hurried up and ran back home to my mom. Next thing I know, I heard growling. My mom was nowhere to be found. The house was a complete mess. And no sunlight, no. Just gray everywhere. <sighs> Went in my room. My room was a complete mess. Went into the bathroom, opened the door slowly. There she was. She had really deep, deep, deep brown eyes. They were dilated. She was crazy. She, she was drinking. She was drinking conditioner, bleach. I was shocked because she didn't die. She wasn't sick. She was even drinking alcohol, which a person should not be drinking. That's right then and there. I knew. There was something wrong. Then she started to run after me when I ran to the kitchen and got a knife. Because I know something about her was not normal. I didn't want to do it, but she forced me to do it. I stabbed her in the head once. I thought she was dead, but next thing you know, she gets back up and starts chasing me. So, put the shower rack over her head and stabbed her multiple times in the head. It was a slow and brutal death of my mother, but I love my mother. I love my family. And then I, I called the cops and they said not to go out to cover all the windows. Make sure you don't have no contact outside. So I stayed in the house, told him about my mother, told him about my everything that just went on in my house. They said it's been a chemical reaction, an explosion of a chemical reaction. And they said that's probably why my mom, I said, my mom, what? They said, was she trying to eat me? And I said, yes. That's when they told me that she was a zombie. And if I leave the house, I will become one too. So, well, that's the end until tomorrow.